Hello guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. In this new video, we are going to look about the interesting portal which is I'm using for the last two months, Kotak Neo portal. In this video, you'll get the details in one video, like all the home screen, orders, funds, entire thing I'll be covered in this video. Let me start from my initial thing. Initially, you need to log in with the Kotak Neo portal. Here you have three options. First one is login with mobile number. In this area, you need to just enter the mobile number, then password, then click the next button. It will directly get into your account. Second option also is similar to it. Instead of mobile number, you just need to enter your PAN details. Then third option is a very easy method. If you scan the QR code from the app mobile application, you can easily get into the account. I'm just scanned the account. Let me get into our account. Okay, this is how the Kotak Neo portal will look like this. Let me start from a home screen. In home screen top left corner, you have the two index which is Nifty and Bank Nifty. In this area, you can see the lowest trade price, change in price, change in percentage. Under that, you have the watch list. Here, I have created the four watch list and I have added a several stocks in this. Okay, let me see how to add a stock. Here, you can see the button search and add. For example, I'm going to add the crude oil in this watch list. I just type crude oil. Here are some commodity stocks given there. Under the search bar, you will have some similar filters, which is a equity or commodity or options. By clicking this, you can add the direct stock or a commodity thing in the watch list. I'm going to add this crude oil futures 18 December. For add purpose, just click the plus button near it. Here you can see it will add at the top of my watch list. This is how you can add the stocks in the watch list. If you add a stock, then if you want to delete it, here are some two informations I'm going to give in for you. First thing, click the pencil button near it. In this area, you can rearrange the stocks as per your priorities. Then if you did not want this stock, just click the in button near it. It will directly remove the stock from your watch list. Then. If you want to add or remove the watch list, just click the button here to it. In this area, you can rearrange your watch list or you can delete the watch list. Also, you can create a new watch list. This is how you can add a stock or a watch list in the area. Then in this area, which is an option chain, you will get some option chain detail, which is an index or commodity. For example, I'm going to click the Nifty. In this area, I'm getting the Nifty's current price, also the strike price and the LTP of a particular call or a put options price. I can directly buy it from this. Then investing tool. These tools are basically used to invest in a particular stock. This will help you to get the details which market is moving a higher side and which market is moving a lower side. You will get this detail by using these tools. In research, in investment ideas, is something different given by the Kotak Neo portal. It will give you the stock name and also they will give in the target price and also the lost trade price. By this area, click this buy button. You can directly buy this stock which is going to move a 9.69%. This is a prediction from the Kotak Neo. You will buy the stocks as per your prediction. Then trading calls. In investments calls, you can see here target only given there. But in trading calls, it will they will give the stop loss points also. They will give you the maximum loss percentage or the maximum profit percentage. Those details are given by them. Then market updates. In this area, you will get the live news or the short news. And one more thing in watch list, if you drag to the mouse to the stock of a watch list, you will get six little bit things in this area. First button is representing the buying option. Second is a selling option. Then third is a technical charts. In this area, if you click this button, it will show the technical chart of a particular stock or a commodity. Then the fourth one is a market depth. In this area, you will get the today's low, today's high, open, close, some important details of a particular stock with the number of buyers and sellers. Then the fourth option, sorry, the fifth option is delete the stocks. You can directly delete the stock from the watch list. Then the final option is trade with charts. Other than that, under the home page, market movers. In this area, you will get the top gainers and top losers list. Depends upon your filter. For example, I'm going to click the Nifty IT. In one day, this stock will be the maximum gainers and this stock will be the maximum losers. This is how you can filter a detail from market movers.
Let me see the orders page. In this area, you will have three options open, closed, and basket. In open orders, you will see your bending orders, which will ready to execute when market touches that price. In closed area, you will get the completed or cancelled or rejected orders. Like if you put a trade on a particular point which is a hundred rupees and you want to cancel the order, you can see whether it is cancelled or not by looking this closed area. Then the third one is basket option. In this area, you can implement or they execute the trade with the multiple stocks or a multiple values. Okay, guys, I'm going to tell you how to add a stock from a basket. For example, I'm going to implement the order in both natural gas and natural gas mini. For that purpose, I'm going to add a stock by clicking search and add. Just type your stock, then click the plus button near it. Then I'm going to add a natural gas mini also. Then I'm going to click this add to basket one. These two stocks are added in the basket. Here you can just enter the number of lots you want to buy or sell. After completing this, you need to select the price range. If you want to buy that stock in a market price, just put the tick mark. Or if you need to buy a stock in a particular place, just remove the tick mark and you can enter the price you want to buy or sell. Then. In this area, you can select the buying option or selling option. You can change it simply by clicking it. Save to basket one. After completing this, if you click the place order button, your bunch of orders will be placed simultaneously as soon as possible. This is how you can add the stocks in a basket and implement your orders. In portfolio page, you have only two options, which is investment and positions. In positions, you will see the order which is lively executed. If you took a trade in natural gas mini right now, it will show the position which is showing the profit or loss of your current trade in this area. Then investments. In this area, you can see your investmented stock. If you are investing in a particular stock, you will get whether it is moving a right side or a bad side. You can looking by clicking this investments area. In funds page, in this area, the first thing available means your available fund balance in your account. Under that, you have two options deposit and withdraw. Let me see it later. Under that, you can see your cash balance. You know that if you want to trade in a real time commodity, you need to maintain your cash balance and the margin from shares. If you bought any shares of a stock, that margin will shown here and used to margin. If you opened any position right now, it will shown in the used to margin. Then the total available margin will shown here. Then the second one is available margin for buying options. You know that if you want to buy an option, you need to maintain the cash balance. Then it will show the available margin for buying options. Under that you have three options, amount due to detail. In this area, if you have any dues from the Kotak Neo, it will shown to you. View transaction history. In this area, you will get the transaction history of your account, which is typically the deposit and withdraws detail. Then the third one is pledge shares for more margin. If you click this, you can pledge your shares for getting the more margin. Okay, guys, let me see the deposit and withdraw options. If you click the deposit button, the first option is enter amount here. If you want to add a 10,000 rupees in your account, you need to just enter the 10,000 rupees. Under that, you can add the amount like a plus 1,000, plus 1,000, plus 1,000 or plus 5,000. You can add it directly. Under this, you have three options, which is a net banking, UPI, IMPS. If you transfer the money by net banking method, you need to pay a similar amount, which is a nominal charging for a transaction. If you transfer your amount through UP, it is a free of cost. Also the IMPS and NEFT. In this area, you need to add your beneficiary account, which is personally shown to you. This is how you can deposit your money. Then withdraw option. If you want to withdraw a particular amount from your account, just enter the particular amount. Or if you need to withdraw the all money from your account, just click the box below. Then click the withdraw money. After it will show you the current status of your transaction. These all are about the funds page. You may know that Kotak Neo is providing a zero brokerage for a two years. I'm clearly explaining the details about the free brokerage of Kotak Neo. I'll given the video link in the description also given in the card. Kindly check it. If you want to open an account in Kotak Neo, 
in the description i have given my link there just click the link and open your kotak neha account thank you guys thank you for watching like and share this video subscribe to the channel for more information follow me on linkedin and twitter if you have any doubts or queries just drag below the comment